Hello, welcome. This is a maths athlete. Today we'll be discussing uh, introduction to coordinate geometry, and hopefully further on uh, we will, you know, in the uh, future lessons we will discuss further into geometry and hopefully get into differentiation. Uh, apologies uh, to my subscribers uh, as I've had such a large gap between this video and my previous videos. Um, I had a few exams and so I had to, you know, cut down on video making videos. But now that's over, there's more videos to come, hopefully. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's start off by labeling these axes. So we have uh, the, as we know from uh, GCSE or whatever. Um, curriculum you study if you're in USA or China or in Germany or whatever anyway so this is called the uh, this is you know this is to do with uh, coordinate geometry or Cartesian geometry uh, basically this guy this man called René Descartes he was a French French mathematician uh, who used this type of system and it's basically a coordinate system it's a type of system which uses one or more numbers or coordinates to uniquely determine the position of a point. So say we have a point here, uh, if we have a point here, if it, yeah, if we have a point there, you know, we can uniquely determine the position using uh, two dimensions. A basic uh, coordinate system would be a number line. Uh, not many people would know that, but that's where it originally uh, came from. So that's why we'll now label this, these axes. So this is the y coordinate axis, and this is the x axis. And so this is the origin. This is where the y-axis and the x-axis cross. Um, you know, yeah. I was hoping everyone knew that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this would. So you know, you can fill in this number by. You, know, you can go up by how many you want, but I'm going to choose to go up by ones. So two, three. And so seeing as this is a number line, there's also negatives. So this would be negative one, uh, negative two, and negative three. And I'm going to go along the y-axis with ones as well. So this will be 1, 2, 3, uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. It doesn't matter really which side you put it on. You know, you can put the numbers on this side or this side. It's only because I'm going to use this space to write examples. Okay. So let's uniquely, you know, uh, define a point, determine a point. So let's call this point A. In red, put it as point A. Okay, so point A. Okay, so first we have the point letter. So uh, this point we've given it point A, letter A, and then we'll open a bracket and we'll have some sort of x axis, uh, x coordinate, and then a y coordinate, and then we close the bracket. So in this case, A has a x coordinate of two, and it has a y coordinate of also two. Now. Luckily, uh, they have the same uh, they they have the same x coordinate and y coordinate. But sometimes, you know, I'm not saying this is a challenge, but many people I know and myself who've made mistakes where we would mix up what we put here and what we put here. So we might have put the y coordinate here and the x coordinate here. Uh, you notice that in exams you make the silliest mistakes, the most basic mistakes, because you're concentrating on the hardest things, and you mess up on the easiest marks. So make sure we you know we know where uh, where we put the numbers. So as we know, we defined or we determined the position of A as two two. You know that's how you'd uh, refer to it. So two two. Uh, say we have a point here, point B. Let's put it up here. Uh, point B will have a coordinate of x of minus two. See now we have negatives coming in, and we have the normal three. Now, you would lose many marks, especially if you're doing something like differentiation, where you're using equations of a line, which we'll cover later in future lessons, uh, where if you mix these, mix these two up, you have costed yourself a lot of marks, you know. Hopefully you'll get method marks, but, you know, you want full marks, you want to go for that ASR. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we've defined A and B, uh, and now we want to define C. This is point C. Hopefully everyone can see that. And that was not an intended joke. If anyone is wondering. Oh, I actually wrote that as A. Sorry. Where is this point B? 
I actually forgot which color I used. Okay, everyone can see that. Uh, C. No, wrong color. C. Okay. Sound, uh, Spanish now. So, uh, we go by the x axis first again. We go along the x axis. Uh, we go, so we choose minus one and we choose minus two. Now we call these, we call these sections quadrants. This, so we'll have these nine squares. Uh, this is the first quadrant. So this is how we refer to it. But not many people would use the words quadrant. It's just if you want to get a bit technical. So first, Quadrant. Uh, this would be your second quadrant. Uh, this would be your third. Uh, I kind of went out of the barrier. Okay, fourth quadrant. Okay. So if a guy, you know, maybe your teacher wants to uh, test or challenge you. Say, you know, go to the fourth quadrant, and you'll know straight away this is the fourth quadrant. You know, maybe people might read it as uh, one, two, uh, three, four, maybe. You know. You know, uh, somebody might you know read it wrong, quadrant number, whatever. Anyway, it's not really a challenge. So anyway, now let's advance. You know, let's go further into the introduction. So now we know how to locate points, or uh, as the correct definition is, to determine a position. These are positions. Positions of points. During this video, you may hear a sound that sounds like. Um, a police siren or something, and apologies, that's the computer. Uh, yeah. So, uh, now let's determine. So now we know how to locate. So now we know how to determine. Let's you know write a checklist. So we know how to determine points. This is all a recap, by the way. This is an introduction. So if you know this, you can skip to the next video. Uh, okay. So we have to determine points. Now we want to know the distance between points. Now we can actually generate a formula to this. So uh, once we get the hang of it, we can actually generate a formula. So I could I could easily give the formula straight away, but we want to know how it comes and where we construct it from. So say we want to know the different uh, the distance between Two points who are on the same line. So let's do. Uh, uh, let's name this D. Okay. Now say we wanted to know the distance of A to D. We could write this as a vector, but I prefer not. Um, so the distance of A to D. Okay. So we will look at. We will. Uh, work this out as a normal uh, as a normal line. So we will say we can clearly say that the distance between D and A we can just walk like this. You know, one, two, three. It's basic. You know? So the distance is three. Let's write in meters just so we have a measurement. So we have three meters. Okay. Say we want the distance between D and C. Distance between. Let's write it C to D. This right, yeah, let's use the same color. So we would say one, two, three, four. So this would be four meters. Now it doesn't really matter where you it doesn't really matter where you go to from C to D or D to C. Well, it doesn't really matter if you go from D to C or C to D. So how about we go a bit of advance? How about we work out what is the distance between A and C? We want A and C. So that's from here. Let's write draw the line there to here. Now we can't clearly, you know, uh, make our way up like how we made our way up here, where we just counted along. And that's a very uh, basic thing. You would eventually learn a formula, which we'll uh, mention later on in the future videos. Okay, so A to C. Now we notice, we notice, if you're a Pythagoras fan, I would get a picture up of him, but we'll try to dedicate a video for him himself. Uh, Pythagoras, uh, he loved triangles, everyone loves triangles. Uh, yeah, so, 
using the law of Pythagoras, we know that we can work out this distance. So AC, we want to work out this distance. We have this distance. We have CD and we have AD. So let's draw the triangle. Terrible triangle. So here's our triangle. So we have 3 here and we have 4 here. Now we know from Pythagoras that if we square root, if we square root uh, the one of the sides squared plus the other side squared, we should get the answer. Now I don't have a calculator on me, so I have to do this manually. Uh, 16 plus 9 equals root 25, which is 5. You know, square root 25, 5 times 5 is 25. Yeah. Now, if you knew this before, you would know that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. But anyway, this is basic introduction to coordinate geometry, and this is how we determine uh, distance between points. So we can actually take that off. Now, it can get, you know, a bit harder. We could go from B to C, so we would have went 1 across, and then we went, we could have went, uh, Five up, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we could have went five up. So you would just do uh, from let's do it up here. If you're not curious, b to c would be the square root of one squared plus five squared, which would be root twenty-six. We could uh, simplify that because we are third. We are third. Uh, we are certified. If you want to call it, we. No other sides properly, uh, but I think I'll leave it that. Maybe that is the final. Maybe that is the final uh, form of the third, the simplified form. But anyway, thank you for watching. This was the introduction to coordinate geometry. Uh, the next video will be, uh, you know, introduction on not introduction. We've really done many introductions, but we will go further into coordinate geometry and hopefully we'll make our way towards differentiation, which and then uh, integration. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you find these uh, videos useful. There are many videos to come. I won't take a big break as I took before. Apologies for that. Sorry for the inconvenience. And like, give your ratings. Uh, I accept any criticism. If you have any questions, leave a comment. A question in the comment section below, or if you can message me uh, through my channel. Thanks for watching and good night. Goodbye. Good day.